kicked off 1996 by giving you a few tips for getting in shape with diets and exercise videos, all part of our New Year, New You series. Well, today we have some help for the many people currently struggling to give up smoking, and there are plenty of you out there. In fact, the National Quit Helpline has taken 14,000 calls since Boxing Day from people who are desperate to give up. Well, amongst the would-be quitters is our own reporter, Fiona Farrell. She decided to stop smoking back in November, and here's her video diary of those nail-biting days. Of all the New Year resolutions made, the most common one has to be to stop smoking. But boy, do we make up some good excuses not to. I don't smoke many, only a couple a day. I enjoy a cigarette, especially after a meal. I only smoke socially. How can I concentrate without a cigarette? And how do I deal with stress? My partner smokes, so what chance have I got of quitting? Whatever your excuse, like any other smoker, you're addicted to a drug, and that drug's nicotine. Being around other smokers is tricky. You watch them, and what do you do with your hands? How can I relax after a long day's work without a ciggy? And I don't want to eat instead. I'll put on weight. What am I going to do? Well, on November the 1st, 1995, for the last time, I did this. And how she got on? Well, I have to say, two months on, she is still going strong, and it is all down to this man. He's not a doctor or a health expert. He's Alan Carr, a former chartered accountant, who used to smoke 100 cigarettes every day. Now, he claims to have discovered the foolproof way to stop smoking, and his book explaining how to do it has been on the bestseller list for years. Now, welcome to both of you. Congratulations to you. How is it all going? It's going fine. It actually gets easier the longer it goes on, and I'm so pleased with myself. And are you still having desperate cravings, or is it no. all okay? No, I th actually think the craving is 99% of it anyway is in your head. And I've, I'll be perfectly honest, there have been three occasions when I've thought I wanted one, and all of them were at social do's where other people were smoking around me. But I didn't. And when you're with people who don't smoke, you don't even think about it. And I have to say, it's so good to meet this man because I wanted to, you know, he, to reassure me that I would never, ever be tempted again, which you've done, actually. Good. Well, now you went from smoking from smoking your, from your first one at 16 to smoking 100 a day mm. and then gave up totally. Just like that. Mm. What made you give up though? What was it? Well, I never really wanted to be a smoker. I don't think anybody actually chooses to smoke for life. But I, I tried stopping using the normal methods, what I call the willpower methods. And I was just so utterly miserable. It was like being between the devil and the deep blue sea. I, I was miserable smoking. I was miserable when I didn't smoke. And I, I, I thought in those days that there was such a thing as a confirmed smoker or an addictive personality, and I was convinced that I was one of them. Mm. Eventually, a, a few things happened in my life in close proximity, and I thought, well, I'll just give it one last try. And it was so easy, it was unbelievable. that I actually knew I'd never smoke again right from putting the last cigarette out. I had no withdrawal pain. I actually enjoyed the, the, the process right from extinguishing the last cigarette and never had the slightest desire to smoke since. So how do you do it? Um, it it's simple really. It, it is actually easy to stop smoking. I know smokers will, will like me. There'll be hundreds of impossible. people like shaking their heads going but no If way. you think about it, um, who actually forces any smoker to smoke? It's only the smoker themselves. And while you believe that you get some genuine crutch or pleasure from smoking or that you, you can't enjoy social occasions or answer the phone without a cigarette, um, then you believe that, and the moment you put that last cigarette out, you feel like a child being deprived of its, its chocolates. It's sort of black depression for the next few days. Eventually, your willpower runs out, and you end up lighting another cigarette. It was really that I understood why I smoked, and my method is, uh, you see, most methods are, are designed on telling you the things, the reasons you shouldn't smoke, like it's killing you and costing you a fortune. Mm. Now, these so-called experts seem to overlook the fact you don't smoke for the reasons you shouldn't. You smoke for the reasons that you do. My method is to remove the desire to smoke. Before actually putting out that first cigarette, you realize that the whole thing is just a huge confidence trick. You realize that you're not only going to be just as happy without them, but infinitely more so, that you'll be better equipped to handle stress. And the most important thing of all, you won't go for the rest of your life, the, 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 uh, the thing that Fiona was worrying about, at odd times thinking, oh, I'd love a cigarette, feeling deprived, and then still, still trapped in, it, in, a, in a sense. 
you enjoy being a non-smoker right from square one. Do you feel a lot better? Yes, I do feel a lot better. And your eyes are whiter, your skin is clearer. And uh, as Alan just said, it, it's the freedom it gives you. You don't have to worry about, have I got my cigarettes with me? Yeah. What if I can't smoke where I'm going? It is freedom and you feel great. In a very quick nutshell, what advice would you give to people who want to give up right now? Well, just to, to realise the reason they want, and I don't talk about giving up because that implies a sacrifice, I say quitting, that nobody actually decides to smoke for life. We're lured into this trap to realise that you didn't need it before you started and that once you stop moping about it, it's the moping that causes the, 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 the trouble, to realise you're achieving something marvellous, to put that last cigarette out, to realise that for a few days your body will be craving nicotine, but that will go. But if you start saying, I want a cigarette and can't have one, you'd be miserable. What you say yeah. is, this is what smokers suffer, isn't it? Marvellous. I'm a non-smoker now, today, and then go and enjoy your life, and you can handle the stress for the rest of your life. It all sounds so easy. <laughs> but you, both of you well. are proof that it can be done. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. So there you are, if you're sitting there with that last cigarette, just stick it out, read the book. <laughs> anyway, stay with us, because coming up after the break,